Hello friends, my name is Parish and you're watching Tech Dynamics. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please click on the subscribe button and on the bell icon so that you get the latest notifications of my upcoming videos. Now, if you're using Dynamics 365 and if you want to do some kind of product branding by adding a logo or by changing the color scheme of, of Dynamics 365, you can do that easily by something called as themes within Dynamics 365. In this video, we are going to discuss how to set up themes and how to use those themes. So stay tuned. Now, before we look into uh, the Dynamics 365, let's go through some points. Now, themes allow you to create a custom look to your Dynamics 365 organization. So you can add your organization logo, or you can change the color theme based on some entity colors or your organizational um, color schemes. You can also create multiple themes. However, there can be only one active theme at a time. Uh, there's preview option available before you can publish the theme so you can actually see how it will look and feel like before you actually publish the theme. You can also clone a theme which actually saves a lot of time for you to make a copy of another theme because you know uh, to set up all the color schemes takes a lot of time. And the components that you can work on are our theme name, uh, you can work on the navigation, you can also work on the UI elements. Here we are in Dynamics 365. So let us click on settings and then click on customizations and then click on themes. Over here you will find various themes and the one which is used as the default right now over here is set to yes. Uh, the default theme column has been set to yes. So if you want to make this theme as the default, so you can select that and click on publish. Now, before we do that, uh, let's just go ahead and have a look into this theme. So there are various settings available, like the theme name. You can change the theme name. You can provide a logo uh, and also a logo tooltip. And then for various um, UI elements like a navigation bar, link, uh, link button, and so on and so forth, you can actually provide a hex value if you know that and change the color. So. Um, and while you're doing that, uh, what you can do is you can click on preview and you will see how the change will look like. So it is it has not been published yet. It is just a preview that, so that you can know, OK, if your color schemes are all right. And once you're satisfied, you can click on publish the theme. Then this will be set to the default one. But if you don't want to do that, we can exit the preview and we are back to our original theme. Now, instead of creating a new theme altogether, we can actually reuse this theme and then make our changes. How we can do that, we can click on clone. And as you can see, a clone is created. It says copy of the blue CRM blue theme. So let us give it um, our own name. Uh, let's say my theme. And let us select a logo, which will be displayed over here. Now. Uh, before you can actually select a logo, you actually have to define that as a web resource over here. So let's just go ahead and give it a name. Give it a display name. Let's say a description and uh, type. Uh, well, you can use PNG or you can use SVG as well or JPG. Um, right now, let us select PNG format over here. If you want to select a language, you can do that and you can upload the file. And the recommended um, dimensions for uh, the logo for Dynamics 365, I would recommend is 400 into 50 pixels. That is 400 is width and 50 is the height. Uh, of pixels and then you can click on save and publish now once you make the changes and publish this uh, the logo will be available for you to select so now let us just select our logo over here and look up for more records look up for new tech quantum and add our logo 
and here our logo is added and if you want you can change the color scheme over here uh, let's just say I want a bit of orange over here and then click on preview so we have our logo over here and we have our color scheme for the navigation which is uh, a bit of orange uh, so you can go ahead and get creative with it and once you like this theme you can actually go ahead and publish the theme so this thing will become the default uh, for your organization so there can be various companies with uh, different organization and they may like to implement their own color schemes or themes or logos so in that case this comes very handy where you can create a new themes um, you can manage them you can delete them and uh, you can publish those themes uh, you can even reuse them by cloning them so right now let's just exit this and we are back to our default theme so um, as you can understand this is very easy to maintain uh, you can go ahead get creative with it uh, do experiments with it and uh, enjoy